Hi gang, something a little bit different for you today, um, but I thought I've just got to make a video about this. Um, I've just picked up um, a really nice omnibus, um, it's called the Simon and Kirby Superheroes, and it's part of the um, Kirby and Simon Library, imprint from Titan Books in the UK. Now this book has been out uh, 10 years, and I've only just managed to get hold of a copy because my life is busy, I have lots of things to do, but uh, I am so glad I bought this. The damn thing's 480 pages. Uh, beautiful sewn binding, which is preferable to the glued binding, because glued bindings sometimes tend to, you know, the pages fall out because anything that's holding them is glue. But this is sewn binding, so the, the pages are actually stitched together with thread. So it's a good quality copy good quality book. Um, dust jacket is fantastic and it gives like a 2D, 3D representation of the cover of the book itself. It's a bit weird, a bit offset because you think, hey what is this? But it's just a, it's just a, a photo copy-ish. Am I making myself clear today? I don't know. But these, this issue basically deals with um, lesser known uh, Simon and Kirby superheroes, as the book says, from the 40s and 50s. So without further ado, I mean feel free to pause the video. I'm just going to show you uh, what some people have said about this book. So feel free to pause. And after you've read all that, I'm just going to take off the cover nice and gently. He says, nice and gently, to reveal the lovely printed on the back and the front cover. Stuntman. Absolutely beautiful. So now what I'm going to do is, uh, in the, the Simon and Kirby library, they've produced quite a few Simon and Kirby books, obviously. And I'm going to be picking all those mothers up because they are inexpensive. Um, I didn't quite know which one to go for, because the way with the, the um, coronavirus and lockdown is working is that I can still get the books, but from this particular company, I can't order a bulk load, so I have to have one book at a time. Seriously, so there's another three I've got my eyes on. This being the first one. The reason I chose this, purely because of the bang for the buck. 480 pages at £23. What? Um, I've not even begun to talk about what's in it, really. Um, but let me introduce you to how Titan Books have produced this. Now, it's still not up to masterwork quality. You still see the, the dot matrix for color process, which is great because it's more authentic, but the um, it's certainly been cleaned up. But uh, you will see dots in the pink faces as such, and things like that, which is fine, I don't mind that. I mean, there's various sorts of ways you can uh, produce a book. Uh, you can have like the quality of PSR books where, all the um, issues, the colours bleeding outside of the ink lines, which is authentic, in as much as that's how the books were were published back in the you know golden age and atom age and whatnot. So that's fine. So I, I buy a lot of PSR books, and then you get the, the Marvel masterworks where everything is done to, with to, today's technology, and it's super clean lines, super vivid colours, and that to me is excellent as well. So you know I've got every single Marvel masterworks beautiful and then you've got this third way where the colors are cleaned up but you still have this dot matrix printing process which is equally cool so you know I'm really happy with that too so there's all, all sorts of ways of getting these books out and I would rather have them out to buy rather than languishing in some comic company's vaults never to be seen by the public just, just an example again of a fantastic cover. Look 
Look at that. I, I have to apologise again for my... Uh, can't quite get any words out today. I think it's because there's a lot of pollen in the air. So, <laughs> aided by my coffee. So what has this book got inside it? Well, basically, um, you have... It's done chronologically. So you start with the 40s. Let me just get to the relevant pages. Yeah, you get an introduction by Neil Gaiman. And then you have the 1940s, with a little piece by Joan, Jim Simon, Joe's son. Um, followed by... Oops. Yep, you have the... It's also segmented into superhero characters, so you don't just get the books with random characters, you get a block of characters. So it starts off with a black owl, uh, with three books from the early 40s, from 1940 and 1941. Um, followed by Stuntman, which is... God, how many books are this? One, two, three, four, five... Quite a few. Um, I can't... I can segment the stories for you, but... It looks like they're reprinting the entire issues featuring Stuntman. So, basically, yeah, three full issues of Stuntman. Issues one, two, and three. Number three being unpublished. Uh, that followed by The Vagabond Prince. Um, August and October of 47. And then you're into the 50s. Uh, Captain 3D. One complete issue there, three stories. Uh, Fighting American, one of my favourites, which is basically a Captain America knockoff, um, but done in a more humorous vein. Great fun. And you've got uh, Fighting American 1, 2, and 3, and you've got about three to four stories of Fighting American from each of those comics. And Ken quickly flicks over the page, and you've got another, you've got Fighting American 4, 5, 6, 7. And then volume two, issues number one. And then issue number two, which is unpublished. And I have to say that some of these books are unpublished. This, this would have been the first time they were published in any sort of form. Um, and then after Fighting American, you have The Double Life of Private Strong. Uh, yeah, complete issue of that, it looks like. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You have eight stories. And then The Adventures of the Fly, uh, issues 1 and 2, from 1959. And then you have Extras, which is like a bonus gallery of stuff. Now all that is just an introduction to what's in here. I mean, this is like the earliest stuff. Beautiful. And I've got to hand it out to my friend and colleague and spiritual buddy Wallace Ryan. I didn't know about this um, until he started showing it on the uh, on his channel, the Library of Graphic Literature. And I thought, oh, I want that. So thanks again, Wallace, for alerting me to this. But I can't believe the book's been out ten years, and I've only just getting to it now. I'm only just being made aware of it now. Look at those beautiful colours and the, the art, the drawing, Kirby, wonderful, Simon's writing. Aye, aye, aye. So good. I can't believe the price. It's just so inexpensive for what you're getting. 480 pages. Seriously, if you're a Kirby and Simon fan, you've got to have this in your library. You really do have to have this. Fighting American. Captain America. Not really, but... His sidekick, Speed Boy. Blonde-haired Bucky. Shh, don't tell anyone. Not really, but, you know. Did you know, and I've only been alerted to this in the last couple of months, that there is a way of, 
how, how can I put it? Near mint condition. So that when you get the books, you shouldn't, shouldn't just go first page to last. You should basically open up the covers while holding it in the middle. This is going to be very difficult for me. And then start at the middle. No, beg your pardon. Start at the end, take a few pages, fold them down. Next to the beginning, fold them down. And work your way through the book to the middle. Until you get, um, I'll be doing this properly later. Until you get to, let's say, yeah, the middle. Okay, now what that does, it eases the pressure off the sewn binding. So, you know, you, you basically, these, these books should last for years. But it's basically giving your book a longer lifespan and less stress on the sewn binding. That's the way to do it, apparently, and I never knew. So thank you, Near Mint. Near Mint condition for that handy tip. So, yes, let me just see what else I can chug up for you. Just, just cool stuff. Just cool Kirby. Wonderful. And I may have some of these uh, stories, not many of them, but I may have some of them in uh, a couple of DC books that came out a few years ago. Much, much smaller than this. Uh, in like newsprint format paper, so the paper is just like the comics were originally. But this one, this is like the, because uh, it's 10 years old, don't forget. It's much thicker paper. Now, I know Marvel and um, most publishers have gone to a very thinner, shinier paper. So they can get the books thinner. So I should imagine if this was printed today, it would be at least a third thinner than what this one is. But I like the quality of this thicker paper. Beautiful. Well, I couldn't contain my excitement. I had to show you this. I had to show you this book. So, thanks for watching me. I hope I've taken, as of this counting, about 30 minutes out of your life um, to sit down and just enjoy this. Comics are forever. And like this crappy existence, which will soon pass. So, anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed that, and I shall see you on the flip side.